Today we're going to be talking about increasing and decreasing functions. Um, looking at the graph of a function from left to right will determine if it's increasing or decreasing. For instance, it increases on a specific interval uh, whenever the graph rises, and it decreases on a specific interval of the domain whenever the graph falls. For example, <coughs> we look at our graph uh, down below right here. We see a parabola, which is a quadratic function, and we s the question is where is the function decreasing? You should notice that it's decreasing going from left to right from uh, this point, or actually kind of uh, negative infinity, and it keeps coming down until we get to this point right here at uh, x equals 2 and y equals 1. So this is the interval where it is decreasing. We can express that um, uh, in mathematical notation. One way of expressing it is saying that this function is decreasing, going, coming from negative infinity uh, and all the way down to 2. So we say x is greater than or equal to negative infinity, but it is less than or equal to 2, and that's where the function is decreasing. There's another way of expressing this in mathematical notation. We can use the uh, open and closed parentheses. So the rounded parentheses means that it is not equal to the number on the left. So you notice that we have here a negative infinity. That is not an exact number. So we put a rounded parentheses to indicate that the lower boundary is at negative infinity but not equal to negative infinity since Naturally, there is no such number as infinity, but that the uh, it does stop decreasing at 2 and exactly at 2, and that's why we have the square brackets to indicate that it is equal to 2. So both these forms are correct. You can say x is greater than, a, greater than negative infinity or less than or equal to 2, or you could say it in this form as well. The next question is, where is this function increasing? I think most of you will notice that it is increasing from 2 and keeps going forever to positive infinity. And this is where it's increasing. How do we express that? Once again, in mathematical notation, we could say that x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than infinity, and that's the interval where it's increasing, from 2 all the way to infinity. Using our notation with the brackets, we have a s notice how we have a square bracket by 2 because it starts at 2 and is equal to 2 and then continues on to infinity, and at infinity, since it's not an exact number, we put a rounded bracket, and that is just another way of expressing the interval that x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than infinity. Some more examples. Where is this function increasing and decreasing? Going from left to right, you'll notice that it is increasing from negative infinity all the way to this point right there. And it looks like it's increasing all the way to uh, about negative 0.5. And so the way to express that is that x is greater than or equal to negative infinity, uh, but less than uh, negative 0.5. It should be less than, this is actually incorrect. The, the equal sign should not be there. So it's actually greater than negative infinity and less than or equal to negative 5. And the other way of expressing that is uh, using the rounded brackets. So that's saying it's not equal to negative infinity, but it certainly is equal to negative 0.5, and that's where you put the square brackets, and that's the interval where it's increasing. And you might notice that there's another interval where it's increasing. 
It's increasing between positive 0.5, approximately 0.5, and continues off to infinity. So we can express that as x is greater than or equal to 0.5 and less than infinity. Or, once again, using the square bracket, it is less greater than or equal to 0.5, but less than infinity with the rounded bracket. So we'll say that these are increasing. Next question is, where is this function decreasing? Okay. It is decreasing from this interval here from point negative 0 0.5 down to positive 0 0.5. So this is where it's decreasing. So putting it in mathematical notation, we can say that x is greater than or equal to negative 0.5 and less than or equal to uh, 0.5, or using square brackets, um, x is greater than or equal to negative 0.5 and less than or equal to 0.5. And now it's your turn. Uh, if you have any trouble answering this question, just refer back to the screencast to help you. Thank you. Good luck, and see you again next time.